What's up everybody? I'm Shane and welcome to a new you. What I would not give for everything to go as planned. I mean, everything's working out nice and smooth and BAM! Just out of nowhere, things will go sideways. Like, you don't get a video out. Or maybe you're having a little bit of trouble at work that you shouldn't be having. Everybody's had something like that that happens. It can be anything from as simple as a friend who shows up late all the way to your flight being canceled. And if you've ever flown, you know that is the worst. All of these things are equally frustrating. They can ruin a whole day to a whole week if you let it. And we feel so wronged by these atrocities that it will be years later when we tell our friends that uh, you remember that time when so-and-so happened? And who can blame you? Who wouldn't be upset if it rained on your wedding day? Or snowed? Mm. But what about a little thing like losing your keys? I mean, it only takes you 10 extra seconds to look for them, but why would that make you want to pull your hair out? Because we expect everything to be perfect, obviously. But why exactly do we expect everything to be perfect? Fun fact, nothing is perfect. Even down at a molecular level, nothing is perfect. In fact, scientists that have tried to create perfection at a molecular level have caused things to explode because it cannot be perfect. Remember that next time somebody tells you that you're perfect in every way. <clears throat> but back to the question at hand. Why would we want everything to be perfect? Oh, well, it's quite simple, really. It's because we expect it to be perfect. It's our expectations. When these expectations go awry, it can lead to some not so great results. Let me give you an example. Let's say you have a friend who always shows up late. So much so, in fact, that you start telling them to show up a little bit earlier than everybody else just so they will show up on time. What? <laughs> no! Uh, of course it's at 4 o'clock. I have no idea why people are telling you to show up at 6. Now take a look at another friend. They always show up on time, or maybe even early. So much so that you expect them to arrive on time, and if they don't, you might find yourself to be a little bit irritated. Now, even though both friends are technically showing up late, your expectations differ from each one. So the friend that you expect to show up late, you are less upset with than the one that you expected to be on time, even though he was probably closer to the scheduled time than the friend who was always late. Your expectations changed the outcome of what you saw. So the lesson? Don't expect anything from anyone. I joke, of course. But maybe that's a bit closer to the truth than we realize. No, I'm not saying don't expect anything from anyone, but realize that mistakes will be made, whether on purpose or by accident! Alright, so adjust your expectations to not be so high. Expect things to not always go as planned. Expect things to maybe go a little bit sideways more than they're supposed to. And realize that we don't always have control over these unexpected events. If we did, I imagine life would go a lot smoother. And not having control isn't necessarily a bad thing. In fact, sometimes it can be somewhat freeing knowing that we don't have to micromanage every single little detail. And it also allows us to focus on things that we do have more control of. Like losing your keys or getting a video out on time. If you acknowledge that your keys are where they are because of where you put them, instead of blaming the key gnomes, things will go a lot smoother. In summary, keep your expectations high, but also expect things to not always go as planned. It'll make your life just a little bit easier. All right, Tony, so now we need to think of a great way for people to like and subscribe Wait, to this, this channel. Is this still part of the video? Like, No, that was the cutoff point. Oh. We're, we're, we're still rolling. We're still rolling. Oh! No, okay, we need to do this again. 